Anywhere I went, I would make these clicking noises and his ears would perk up and he would just prance on over to me. <laughs> he really used me as his seeing eye human. Somebody brought in a box of puppies. And, and then oh, that was... there's this one with no eyes. I noticed one of them had no eyes. So instantly I thought nobody's gonna want a puppy with no eyes. It's so hard to find homes for them. Yo. Oh my goodness. Hello. So I took him and I fostered him. What did you do? Can you get down? There were a few hiccups at first with him learning how to exist in the world as a blind, tiny little puppy. Where are you? Hey! Hello? I'm right here. His bond with me definitely helped him adjust to life without eyes. Hi, buddy. But then he grew to learn the sound of my footsteps. Where are you? Oh, my goodness. So I don't have to do the clicking noises anymore. Sit. Good boy! Each day, we became closer and closer to each other. Hi, oh, you're so cute! Charles loves to sleep on my head at night. He'll just put his body on my face <laughs> and sleep that way. He is like the softest, sweetest, most attached dog. Charles is the first dog that I've felt a similar bond with since my heart dog, Tassie. She passed last year and it's been hard to fill that void because she was a very special dog. Having Charles around has been a great source of comfort. You're so cute. He's just so attached and wants to be part of everything my family does. Come here, come on. There's an organization I co-founded that sends dogs off Guam and Saipan to adopters and rescues stateside. Hi! And there was a flight that went out a few weeks ago, and that was the one that Charles was supposed to go on. But he didn't. He missed his flight. Well, I mean, he intentionally missed his flight. Guys, I have something to tell you. I'm keeping Charles. Yay! We decided to adopt Charles officially. Oh my God. <laughs> my family was super excited that we decided to keep Charles. I simply couldn't imagine life without him in it. You always on my foot. <laughs>